In answering to growing calls from the media industry for specialized institutional training of broadcasters, the Great Zimbabwe University is positioning itself as the leading institution in hands-on training following the commissioning of a state-of-the-art radio broadcast studio at the university's campus in Mashingo. <laughs> At a time the government is working on opening up the broadcasting sector to new players, GZU Vice Chancellor Professor Jobo says the new studios will culminate in the establishment of a community radio station or part of a broader plan to bring relevance to Zimbabwe's broadcasting sector. We are a university which uh, trains journalists. And the practice so far has been that people simply do the theoretical aspect without having the hands-on. And we feel that it, this station is important, firstly as a teaching, learning tool for our students who are studying journalism. It's very important that they have hands-on um, experience, that they are able to uh, prepare programs, they are able to uh, uh, um, um, record uh, programs and they're, they're able to prepare themselves for the real work outside. And I think that what's more critically important is the fact that journalism is a, 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 a science you can't do without doing it on the job. So we want this to be a teaching learning tool but also more importantly that it must be a, an instrument for linking up with our stakeholders outside. Uh, we must be able to reach our um, the generality of Masingo people. We should be able to link up with uh, business people uh, in the context of building up a relationship which is uh, fruitful and long-lasting. Uh, our students should be able to understand the importance of communication in nation building. And, and this connects uh, well with uh, 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 government's desire to promote a, an environment in which the economy becomes the focal point for, for our development. So for us, this, this station is critically important. We cannot, do, we cannot do without it. We must reach out people, we must reach out to our students um, uh, in, within the university and outside the university. Besides being a training hub, the establishment of a radio station on campus is expected to provide an alternative link between students, the community, and authorities in Mashingo skills training will also greatly improve as a result of this latest move by the institution. This radio station is very useful in promoting development uh, locally and nationally. We are going to use this radio station to disseminate, to disseminate information uh, on the innovation taking place in the university and in the community as a way to solve challenges and problems facing the, the community and the nation. A lecturer under the media department acknowledged that the radio station is part of the department's grand plan. We have embarked on this pace setting uh, project as a university of acquiring state of the art uh, broadcasting equipment after the realization that uh, students, journalism students in the country were lacking adequate or requisite skills that are needed when they go out there. So as a university we are going to produce a, ca a journalism cadre who has uh, requisite uh, practical skills that are much needed in the industry. We have brought the working environment on campus so that our students are distinct. They manage to have this practical experience while they are still uh, learning and when they go out, when they graduate, they hit the ground running. So. We are going to have the content that is going to be produced by our students and we have already canned adequate uh, content that will see us uh, being able to start broadcasting. Even the music and everything that we are going to have will be produced by our students. We will be the center of excellence in terms of journalism training in, in Zimbabwe and we are not just going to do radio broadcasting. Uh, alone, we are going to soon start uh, television 
uh, broad, uh, broadcasting here and at the end of the day we are going to be the best in terms of producing our students in terms of journalism and broadcasting in Zimbabwe and I can promise you that our students are going to be distinct. What is happening in the broadcasting sector is that um, it is anticipated that there will be liberalization of the airwaves. Uh, as of now the couple of stations that have come on stream uh, the ones that were licensed. But you will realize that uh, most of uh, the staff that is working for these stations, uh, some of them are just talent. We would want the Radio Academy to be the torchbearer when it comes to uh, training um, uh, broadcasters, for example, in radio station management, uh, presentation skills. Uh, and of course, let's not forget the community radio sector is coming. So as airwaves are liberalized, there will be a need for staff that is uh, properly and skilled in order to meet uh, the staff demands which are anticipated. We will be uh, uh, going into partnerships, for example, uh, not uh, overlooking the local broadcasting sector. Uh, we know that there is technology uh, that they have employed. Um, and if, as you have seen our, 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 our technology that we have, it is state of the art. We will keep on uh, through uh, management, of course, uh, approval. We will keep on uh, upgrading that uh, technology uh, so that we always have state of the art technology. The other thing that we'll do is we are a higher education uh, institution. Uh, it is no harm for a university like Great Zimbabwe University to liaise with other uh, universities that we are in agreements so that we all the time, whatever we are uh, teaching our students and the people that will be coming here to get those requisite practical skills uh, are at par with any uh, standards that are set elsewhere in the world. For example, uh, in Zimbabwe, this is a new concept, the concept of the campus radio station. But in other universities, especially in the United States, even in South Africa, they have uh, uh, gone, they have been there. So it is the aim of the university to liaise, cooperate, and make sure that all the time we are abreast with standards that are applicable elsewhere in the world. That is the objective of this facility. For example, I uh, mentioned that uh, when we look at radio station management, um, the stations that are there, if you look at them, they are all a chip of the old block, the things that, uh, that things were used to, to be done. We aim to uh, develop uh, those skills. For example, uh, I gave you an example of community broadcasting. We don't have, and the little stations that are there, um, and the projects and the initiatives that are there, uh, they just started off without that grounding. It is the aim of this uh, station, of this facility, and the GZU uh, has taken the lead and is coming at the right time to make sure that we arrest that skills gap. In a highly competitive world, where the job market demands training institutions to produce competent students, the radio sector has already had a good starting point. <laughs> Kukosha kwe kwa ni makireke kana ni kwe shokura mwari. Asi wanu, wanu wawachimuka. 